what you're looking at is the supply and the return from the geothermal loop field. On the right you have the supply, and on the left you have the return. This is a two ton loop field. The supply goes into the QT flow center which is circulating the, uh, the glycol solution throughout the field. This, uh, this pumps the water from the loop field through a, uh, through a one inch high density polyethylene pipe into the inside of the geothermal unit. It then goes through the geothermal unit in the bottom and then it comes out the top black pipe back to the loop field. The red and the white, the red and the blue pipes are for the D superheater. The D superheater is taking the waste heat from the geothermal unit and putting it into the tank on the right hand side. The tank on the right is the buffer tank. It then goes on it then goes through the buffer tank to the tank on the left, which is a high efficient electric water heater. The majority of the time when the geo unit is running, the electric hot water tank will not be in use as it will be making the majority of the hot water. We have two disconnects here. The one on the lower is for the geothermal unit. That is what's feeding the electricity to the geo unit. The one on the top is the electric heat or auxiliary heat backup. That is for extremely cold weather, extended uh, run hours that will automatically kick on or if forever what reason you'd have a leak somewhere somebody uh, turned a valve by accident um, that would also uh, kick on. In front of you is the geo unit. The supply coming out of the back uh, out of the top goes throughout the home and the return on the left goes through a two inch air filter to filter the air. The white pipe down there is your condensate drain when you're in air conditioning mode, it will rem remove humidity from the air and deposit it into the, uh, into the floor drains.